Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. You know, you don't always have to be on the ballot to be making news. And joining me today is former Democratic count County Board candidate for the Arlington County Board, Vivek Patil. Welcome, Vivek. Thanks for having me, Miriam. Well, I have to congratulate you on a wonderful campaign. So many people talked about the positive, innovative, and bright ideas that you brought to the Thank campaign. You. Thank you. So tell us, who is Vivek Patel? Yeah, so I, uh, so yeah, my name is Vivek. I actually uh, came from India. I, I came here to go to school. Lived in several different places, uh, from India to Indiana, which is where, uh, in many ways, very Cute. formative time of my life. Mm -hmm. And um, I moved to Virginia about uh, two years ago. Um, and I'm a chemical engineer by training, but I've spent most of my career in biotech. I uh, love dogs, uh, the environment, um, people, public service. And I wanted to run for office because I felt there were certain ideas I cared very deeply about. And that was the, the genesis of my run for county board. So. I think it's just remarkable. You've only been in Arlington for two years, and you did so much better than people who run time and time again. And the Democratic Party ticket is highly sought after. So can you share with us some of your platform and what got people so excited? Sure. Thank you very much uh, for, the, uh, for the question. So one of the reasons I felt compelled to run was when I um, moved to Arlington, I um, got involved very quickly in grassroots politics. So knocking on doors, registering voters. And I, I realized very quickly that the, uh, the conversations that we were having were very transactional, you know? So we- The Arlington the way. Arlington, yes, <laughs> very, very brief during an election. And so a group of us got together. I founded a group called Building Bridges along with some really awesome Arlingtonians. And the, the core emphasis of that group was to reach out to all the different communities all across Arlington and really build relationships, get to know them show up at their churches and their synagogues and their temples and their festivals and their gatherings and really build a partnership. So and really you, you talk to people, talk you to listen. People, listened. To and people. I think that's, that's the imperative word here because it's not about you standing up and, and articulating your platform. It's more about listening and, and gathering that information and listening to what they care about. And so uh, one of the reasons I felt compelled to run, uh, it was very unexpected for me as well, was because I felt there were many Arlingtonians that were feeling left out. You know, there were many parts of Arlington that don't have a voice or a seat at the table. And I think through this Building Bridges framework, what we recognize was there are many communities that don't have a voice. They don't participate in decisions being made. Well, so, one of the reasons I really wanted to have you on the Sustainable Scoop is that there are these issues of housing yeah. and transportation yeah. and um, income inequality. Absolutely. But you wrapped and framed your campaign about opportunity yeah. and the potential yeah. to solve these problems with innovation and green technology. Absolutely. So I, I, I believe that uh, the new economy, as they call it, has created massive inequality, right? So we talk about tech and biotech and, and economies that I think are transformative, but they, they benefit some very highly skilled workers disproportionately. And so what, what I wanted to find a way along with, with our campaign was a, a vision that creates opportunity not just for the most skilled, but also for those that may not have the skills. And so a green and a clean tech economy, in my view, is, is an innovative economy that's going to power industry and job creation but will also bring the manufacturing jobs that we are looking for for the rest of Virginia. Vivek, so. we cannot have you go away. <laughs> we don't want you to just be in Arlington. Yeah. We want this message to continue. And you yeah. have so many supporters that Thank want you. to know what you're going to do next. Yeah. So what is the plan? So I think, uh, you know, the, the economic vision that we talk about bridges the whole state, right? It's, it's, it's basically bringing together the dichotomy of urban and rural, skilled and unskilled, uh, red and blue, right? So one of the things that we want to do is as we craft this vision of creating innovation in green tech but also manufacturing, we need to get buy-in from everyone, Republicans and Democrats, rural, urban. Don't leave so anybody behind. Don't want to leave anyone behind because if you're sing just sitting here crafting a vision that leaves people out, it's not a vision that works for everyone. Right. So we're traveling all over the state. We're going to talk, we're going to listen to what are the people's needs and then craft a vision that gives them a voice as well. And I think if we do this collectively, we can be that shining uh, green city on the hill, as they call it. And I, I hope that Virginia becomes, I want Virginia to be just like in 15 years when people say, where, where's the most innovative green tech happening on the planet? 
Right now, it's you know in a different part. I want us to own it. I want Virginia to be that place. And Virginia could be a great place for entrepreneurship. Absolutely. We just have to create what some incentives. Yeah. Maybe? So I think it's a combination of the right incentives mm -hmm. um, from the state and local level. You know, uh, supporting entrepreneurs. Uh, maybe tax policies that help you know new companies set up shop here. Job retraining. Right. We have this amazing canvas of ingredients. Right. Really smart people. Really hardworking people. Uh, beautiful state with such vast resources. So I think if we bring all of those pieces together, we can be a real powerhouse. And I think we can be the most dominant state in the union when it comes to our commonwealth in the union when it comes to job creation and innovation. So I really believe that. So I really appreciate your optimism you. and your positive attitude. Um, is, there, is there a particular area that you think that Virginia could really excel? Or is it everything? Uh, I think it's uh, all of it. I mean, I think our strong suit right now is the, the defense infrastructure here. Gotcha. We've got DARPA and some really remarkable military technologies. Um, and I do think that that's a strong industry. But I'm trying to create a new industry, for example, where we can excel. Yeah. Well, so if people want to learn more about your ideas and kind of support you along the way, how do they get in touch with you? Well, we are just putting together our platform, but right now, if people want to know more, my, my email is just vsp1776 at gmail.com, and our website for the campaign is to be vivekforcountyboard.com, so we'll probably forward that to our new website. All right, Vivek Patil, thank you so much for joining us. I wish I had gotten to you before the um, primary, but I'm glad that you're here now. Thank you for having me. All I right. appreciate it. And viewers, I want to thank you for giving us your time this afternoon and this evening. Uh, please come and see us again. That's The Sustainable Scoop. I'm Miriam Janari. Back to the news desk.